So I, I've witnessed in some organizations either a rejection of trying to take on these tougher, soft issues, or certainly for some teams or some leaders to feel that this soft, warm, and fuzzy stuff isn't something they really want to address in a business context. I think that's either because they don't believe in it, they're not ready to take it on, or they've seen it attempted and it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't drive results. It's a weekend retreat. It's a course that I took but it doesn't actually result in any particular change in the dynamic of the organization or the team. So how, how would you think about that? What you hear a lot from organization is that when teams form, they get to go do some team building, or they get some team training, or some facilitators come in and help them work through. And the testimonies that our clients give us is that those interventions, as they're called, are very touchy-feely, they're very temporary, and they're done to them by external parties. So the experience is we have to do all this fun, simulated, role-playing game stuff, or we have to get taught these tools by a trainer, or someone's going to take us through a process. The end result of that oftentimes is an experience of, that was fun, so what? That was great, what do I do with it? I think we need to call them back again to help us because we don't know how to do it on our own. And all these tools and this big toolkit, what the heck do we do with it? So it feels like a very soft approach. What's missing in our mind is an ability for the teams to actually begin to learn how to monitor themselves, observe themselves, and self-regulate in the moment while they work. And to bring in tools and techniques and practices and methods which help them be more effective as they work. And those tools can be very task-oriented, as Amy talked about earlier, like goal-setting, managing meetings, making decisions, or very relationship-oriented, like listening, having good conversations, or building trust. When those are adopted to real work in the moment and the team can use them, then they have the opportunity to actually bring in pieces that are useful, that help them be more productive and perform. And that's when teaming all of a sudden becomes much more than a trick a simulated environment or some training, it actually becomes impactful and applied. That's the missing link, we believe. So when we hear from leaders, from teams that going the soft route or the nice route hasn't worked for them, sometimes they're actually confusing being kind, uh, being nice and friendly with actually being vague and ambiguous. And actually one of the biggest sources of stress and frustration in the workplace is ambiguity. So it actually matters a great deal to people to know what's expected of them, to know what their goals are. There was a really interesting study that was done uh, of a lot of different tech companies. And they asked people, what's the greatest source of stress in your work? And they looked at commute, is it a bad manager? Is it a hostile colleague? The number one answer by far was unclear goals. Mm -hmm. that that was worse than these interpersonal issues, it was worse than long working hours. It's not that people mind working or mind having expectations, it's just when they're not clear, there's no structure, nothing concrete that people are working to, no meaningful purpose. So sometimes a leader will try to be more soft, more kind, and will end up just being vague and ambiguous. So instead of saying, I really need this report on my desk by Friday, they'll say, do you think maybe it's possible, could you perhaps get this to me as soon as you could? And so the person doesn't get a clear request, and then eventually there's gonna be stress in the system because they're not delivering, they don't know what they're supposed to deliver and how, and this can become a norm. And finally the person gets frustrated and they said, well, I tried to be nice, I tried to be open, and it didn't work for me, when actually all they needed to be was clear. And there is a kindness in that straightforward, honest, clear request. People are very often asked, would you, would you like the truth, even if it's unpleasant to hear? And most people actually say yes. But then when you ask them, will you tell people the truth? Most of them say no. So there's a real discrepancy there. And I think what I've really come to realize is the deep value of authenticity mm -hmm. and of being straightforward and doing that with kindness. So there's no kindness without the truth. There's no sense of being warm 
without actually having a very clear direction and a goal. So in most things, it's a balance and going either one or the other will lead to unproductive outcomes. Mm -hmm. So I think the biggest gift a leader can give their teams is a safe environment, but also a, a lot of clarity, a lot of feedback and a lot of honest opinion, which can help people grow.